What's up, party people? So, it's a May long weekend. Um, and I've been looking around uh, all the four wheel parts places to see if they have any Smitty Belt rooftop tents, and they do not. At least not in stock. And it's about a 30 day wait to get one. And I'm impatient, and I don't want to wait. So, I'm going to build one. And uh, I'm going to try and do like a step by step uh, how I'm going to do it. And I've got everything. Uh, that I need to do it right now. I just came in back from the city uh, to my place here and uh, yeah, we're gonna build one. So, what we're gonna put it on is this. So this is my 2013 Nissan Frontier and we're going to be building a rack. Well, we're gonna be adding a bar um, to the rack that we've already built uh, and installed on the truck so that we can actually put uh, the proper size of platform on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an existing system, an existing cot tent, which I've seen a lot of people do, but we're going to do it a little differently uh, because I want it to last. And we didn't get uh, the style of cot tent that um, folds open, like it's not the uh, the camp right or anything like that, it's just the Ozark. So it's going to be a little simple, but it's extremely cheap. So everything on this entire build, uh, you can do for a hundred dollars. Right now in Alberta, Canada, you can go to your hardware store, you can go to Canadian Tire and Walmart, get these things, build it, and you can probably build it in a day. That's what I'm going to try and do. So uh, uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to get everything organized. Uh, I'm going to get all the parts and everything that I need out uh, and ready so I can get a bigger picture. And then we're going to mount these uh, crossbars here, which we already have painted the charcoal color of the truck. Uh, we're going to install those, um, and then we're going to uh, start working on the tent. So, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so the bars are on. And uh, let's see if I can twist this camera around. So we've got the bars on. Uh, they are installed with just, uh, at the moment, self-tappers. Uh, and once we're, uh, once we got everything measured out and properly, we're gonna put through bolts all the way through the bottom. Um, this whole rack is built out of uh, uh, aluminum tubing uh, that I had kicking around from an old, uh, Home built roof rack, and these uh, are from uh, work. And I was able to build these at work, so uh, I might do a video on this rack a little later. But as of right now, we're just going to use it because we need to mount something. Um, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. So we've got two uh, quarter inch or a little more than quarter inch plywood uh, cut into four foot by four foot lengths, and we've got two packages of uh, one by one, uh, also cut to four inch lengths. Uh, so these are about $18 a sheet uh, pre-cut from Rona, uh, and these are $2 each from their bin. Um, so you get uh, four blocks uh, for two bucks, so this will be four dollars here. And then over here we've got the Ozark tent cut, which is going to be converted into a new tent. And uh, we're going to figure out how we're going to do that as we go. What we've also done, because we are dealing with wood and it's not treated, uh, I picked up some Minwax. Uh, so this is the polyurethane impregnated Minwax. Um, and it's basically going to keep the, the wood from absorbing moisture, it's going to keep it looking good, and it's going to have a nice dark walnut color uh, stain finish so that on the back of the truck, uh, when there's no co uh, cover on it, it's going to look pretty decent. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to open up the rooftop or the, the cot tent, I think, and I'm going to get some measurements on it and see where it's going to sit and where we need to start building our frame. So let's do that. Okay. So here is the uh, cot tent, as you can see. Um, now the, the design of this one is actually an expanding, uh, similar to how a camp chair uh, opens up. Um, and that's probably not going to work for the way that this is going to be uh, opening and closing. Um, but we do have our dimensions here, so we're 99 inches wide, 60 inches deep, and uh, 60 inches high. Uh, and for the centimeters we got there, sleeps two or sleeps one, which is really all I need it for at this moment. Um, so yeah, let's open it up. One of the reasons I hate buying new, 
and I do hate buying new when all chances I get I buy used. There's packaging. I loathe packaging. It's the bane of my existence. Okay. Got a relatively small uh, shed that I work out of, so that there's not always a ton of space in here. Let me see if I can perch this thing. This one because you get a ton of headroom. Now I have read the reviews on it and I know that as far as uh, as far as uh, moisture goes, it does condensate inside the tent a lot when the fly is on. But I do have a plan to rectify that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some measurements on this guy. Uh, I'm going to take the boards that I have and I'm going to see where this thing folds so that we can collapse it. So, let me do some picking here and I'll get back to you. Okay, so, uh, what we're going to do right now is uh, I've taken the time to look at the cot and look at the design and I've noticed that it folds backwards on itself. So when we actually mount it on the truck uh, and we were open it, it would be upside down. So, this is what we'll do. Because we don't actually need the frame and the use of the frame and how it works actually doesn't doesn't really jive with the style that we're doing. We're going to remove the frame right here, the collapsible pieces. We're going to cut that, unscrew that, and cut here. So we're basically going to leave, we're going to take all the legs off of it and we're just going to have the frame, the outer frame. And we may end up putting a brace from here down to the bottom. But I haven't decided yet because I don't know if we actually need to. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start getting cutting. We're just going to use a angle grinder with a cut wheel on it, cut them right off, unscrew the ones that we can, and uh, then we'll come over here and because this will be cut right here, we're going to flip this over. So you'll notice there's a flat piece and an open piece and that's where they slide into. We're just going to flip this around and put it on top so that it doesn't close this way, it closes the other way. That way when we open the frame and the, the, the platform that we're going to be building, uh, it'll be open right side up. And unfortunately, uh, my roommate is doing some fence work over at, uh, at my mom's house, so I don't have my skill saw. So we're going to let uh, my, crappy, my crappy cordless battery charge and probably have to charge it three times just so we can get used to it. So. Anyway, that's what we'll do. We'll cut these, we'll take these off, and we'll come back into the video when we have a finished platform. All right, folks, so we're making some good progress here. We've got the uh, legs off of the uh, cot, and if you come over here, 
um, you'll have this little flap that protects you from this hinge while you're lying in bed uh, right here and what we've done is like I said it used to sit like this so that uh, when you open it um, sorry it used to sit like that so that when you opened it um, it would fold uh, backwards so your flat your your mesh material was always showing now what we've done is we've just taken this bracket that we cut the legs off of right there and we flipped it upside down and boom problem solved so now once we put the braces across it will close like this so at the bottom it closes in on itself uh, yeah so that is pretty much ready um, to be mounted oddly enough uh, so what we'll do now is we'll we'll take this we're going to cut a foot off of it because this is three feet wide and this is four feet wide so we're gonna cut a foot off of it uh, and then we're gonna frame it with the one by ones and we're going to glue and screw uh, this around the perimeter of those three foot boards so we'll have to cut these down as well because they're cut to four length uh, and we'll just frame it just like that boom all the way around the board and uh, then we're gonna stain it uh, and we're gonna put bracing underneath so that when we put it on the rack like you see the other board is on there already uh, she'll be stable and then in order for the board and the frame to open what I've done is I've picked up a piano hinge again from Rona and I believe this is a, about $14 it's a three foot piano hinge and uh, we're gonna screw and glue that to the board stain it and then come up with some sort of latching mechanism I'm not too sure what it's gonna be yet but uh, there's not too many steps to this I'm starting to figure out thankfully so stay tuned and we'll see what we're at do next all right so we've made some more progress again um, what we have here is our finished platform um, so what we've done is we've taken the one by one and the plywood and we've built a, a frame essentially and then we've added a piano hinge all the way across with a four inch space in between so that when it opens these places don't uh, get hung up on the, on the, on the hinge uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to figure out how we're going to support it once it's open and we're just going to open it up and you know, there is a gap anytime you're working with uh, with wood you're going to have a bit of a separation but we're going to have a latch here latch here and a latch here uh, as well as two um, tension strap pulleys right up here uh, so it's actually gonna work out pretty good so I'm gonna pull the c-clamps off and we're gonna open it up and see what it looks like all right people uh, it's been about two hours since we last did our video uh, and what we've done is uh, we finished building the frame the boxes uh, we put the piano hinge on we've stained it mocked it up and installed it on the rack. We've also mounted the, uh, the mesh part of the tent. And this is kind of what we're, what we're dealing with now. <clears throat> so if you look real close, what we've done is we took the, the frame of the legs off and repurposed it for cross bracing. So there's this metal bar that goes across the bottom here. We just bolted right through and installed with nut and bolt through the back. And this keeps the keeps the tent from coming off the frame. And then we've got the same thing on the other side. We've got a nut with a couple of a washer and a nut with a bolt through. Uh, and then how we mounted the frame is we just put on some U-bolts. Uh, which we you can just purchase at a local hardware store. I would recommend getting stronger um, back brackets for them uh, Which I will eventually do. I'll probably just cut some steel and make it uh, so they don't bend but This guy is not going anywhere. She is solid uh, and like I said the stain that we've used is uh, a poly uh, Impregnated stain so uh, it's gonna wick the water away nicely. It's gonna keep the stain looking nice and well uh, We will probably wrap this in uh, uh, coroplast eventually for a final 
final coat. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're, we're looking at there. Lots of room on top, and that's not with the fly on. So we're gonna we're gonna try put the fly on right now. All right. So there she is. Oh, here we are inside. And, uh, we've got quite a bit of room in here actually for a, for a cot. This is, this is fairly decent. So, yeah, there you go. I'll tell you. Build one of these. We've still got to figure out what we're doing down there for the brace. But for now, for now, those poles will work.